plan the outline of the block and the location of door and window openings on the footing or slab. Note that it's important that the footers have been designed by an engineer so they can withstand the weight of an ICF wall. Place corner blocks first. Then work towards the center of the wall. Use zip ties or wire ties at vertical joints on webs to connect blocks securely. And then install horizontal rebar. Install the second course of block by reversing the corner, creating an offset on the vertical joints. At this point, check the top of the wall to be sure it is level. Then shim or cut as required to level it. Install windows and door bucks. Bucks are used to hold back the concrete and stay in place permanently, providing a nailing surface for the installation of windows and doors. Install following courses of block by continuing to overlap the courses so that all joints are locked both above and below by overlapping blocks. Install alignment bracing around the entire wall of the structure at 6 feet on center. Stack block to the full height, then install vertical rebar. Pour concrete into the stacked walls approximately 3 to 4 feet at a time with a concrete pump truck and boom, circling the structure until the top of the wall is reached. Internally vibrate the concrete as it is being placed using a pencil vibrator to remove any air pockets and ensure complete concrete consolidation. At the top of the walls, screed off the concrete until it is even with the block top. Then wet set anchor bolts as per your specs. Remove the bracing after the concrete is cured and proceed with your further stages of construction.